The next method is uh, a trinomial with a leading one. Trinomial means there's three terms, okay? And a leading one means when it's in descending order, so the powers going down from left to right on the variable, the first term is a one. Uh, first coefficient, excuse me, the first coefficient is a one. So here's an example of one that would look like uh, this this style. Um, let's go 7x plus 10. So notice here this is a trinomial. The powers on the variables go down. There's a 2. The power on x by itself, as you know, is anyone, anyone? Yeah, it's a 1. And then there's no x term, so then the x term is 0. So the powers on x go 2, 1, Zero. This that's descending order, and if you notice here, there is not a number in front of the x squared. We understand that there's a one there, but we don't have to write it. But that's what it means. Um, so this is a trinomial with a leading one, and this gets into some of the problems that I had you do the other day. Here's the way I like to look at it. You want to find the factors of the last term. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. Find the factors of the last term, which in this case is positive 10, that combine to the middle. So, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little table. I'm going to be like, all right, 10. I need to find two numbers that multiply together to give me 10, that combine together to give me negative 7. So, I mean, you could even do it this way. You can make a table like this, 10 and negative 7. And if you want to put a multiplication symbol there and an addition symbol there, you can. So, Let's say you didn't know all the different factors of 10 that added up to negative 7. So what you would do is you'd start writing them down. Okay, 1 and 10, well, that doesn't add up. That adds up to 11. That doesn't work. Negative 1 and negative 10, that adds up to negative 11. So those don't work. It's not working for me. So my other two factors are 2 and 5. Well, 2 and 5 add up to 7. So I'm on the right track, except I need it to be negative 7. So negative 2 negative 5 that does equal negative 7 so those are my winners and here's what I do with them you take so just like difference of squares you take the square root of the first term x the square root of x squared is x it goes in the fronts and then I take these two factors that I just came up with one of them goes here so I'm going to have a negative 2. The other one goes there. Negative 5. That's the final answer. That's trinomial with a leading one. If you don't need the table and you just were able to see them, great. You don't need to use the table. I wanted to show you the table for those of you who don't not necessarily automatically see them. So that's the trinomial with the leading one. Again, normally you would check for greatest common factor first. Since there's three terms here, there's no reason to even think about difference of squares because difference of squares has to have two terms. The last method.